<laughs> big, big dog, have you been in there? <laughs> Listen, I know how bad it work, but I can still be, I can still be a little surprised. <laughs> yeah. Plus, it could have been the nest. I know that Sierra, for a, a short amount of time, didn't really like playing the mirror. Oh. Instead, choosing to go with Ness, but. He's just what? so much more confident in his Steve now more than ever that uh, he can just do that. I was going to say, like, I definitely think that you're being honest and telling the truth, but it was hard to believe considering that opening. Like, yeah. Seraph looks so <laughs> confident, picking a lot of correct decisions with all that aggression, and the combo routes were looking great, too. It's hard to believe that there was ever a time where that confidence wasn't there. So, I interesting mean, start. But, yeah, I mean, the Ness... So many years of experience behind it, too. But look at that. Off the platform, off the backboard. Surely this is against the rules. Surely <laughs> we, we can't have Steve here. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, I feel like it's just a testament to how much Super has grown with the character. Oh. Even post, like, seasonal bans and in New Jersey for a little bit. Going, going back to Ness for a little bit as well. And then still bring up, being, being able to bring, bring up the Steve against someone whose whole smash, I think, um, journey has been with Steve since release, and you know we take the trade, take the homie stock and your stock, and it's still Syrup who's still in the lead and showcasing these very quick 64% combos off of the wooden pick. Uh, I'm sorry, the wooden axe and the magma up smash. Just enough time to grab some tools to get the diamond on deck, and now all of a sudden, D Dog on the back foot, probably kill percent, especially after the anvil hit. Really rough spot to be in. Oh, bro, welcome home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's building a log cabin just for, for him and his friend Steve. <laughs> him and his friend. Hi, yeah, Pride Month. Yeah, yeah. Happy Happy Pride Month. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, did you see the TBR after the um, after the, the jump from ledge? That was sick. That was sick. That block also TBC, perfect, yeah. <laughs> perfectly placed. A little extra assist right there. Oh, the TNT. Interesting. <laughs> Can see from up there. Yeah, you're right. A little bit interesting of a move coming in um, from D Dog there, but we get the we get the down smash. That angle was crazy. <laughs> I All thought right. we were gonna see it bounce off of the uh, block there, but right. the little noise of them both mining irritates. <laughs> like, but, but going back and forth with diamond, especially, it's like anti ASMR. It's right? like <laughs> the opposite relaxing. Right. This sound will give you anxiety. It yeah. makes my blood pressure go up the roof. <laughs> it, it, I'm going home to listen to Donkey or Funky Kong Picture. <laughs> Sorry, Funky Kong. Great minecart <laughs> though. We didn't yeah. see a lot of the minecarts, so that one makes that one a little more surprising, I think. Catching it like roll out to kind of get out of that scramble situation with the blocks over on the left side. Really smart stuff. Good adaptation and uh, more so like nice surprise to keep yeah. in the back pocket. Yeah. Especially given how much Syrup has been focusing on like on hit conversions, right. creating different block traps and block setups. Sometimes instead of trying to go up the levels, you just circle way back to level one. It's like, well, I'll, what if I just minecart because it's good? <laughs> <laughs> I'll minecart because it's strong. I've heard that one far too many times, <laughs> yep. but it never stopped being right. Oh my God, that grab. Snatched. Right. <laughs> Hey, Bird. yoink. Yeah. Fish fear him. <laughs> <laughs> Women fear me. Women fish fear me. Also fear I me. Fear me. <laughs> Everyone fears me. <laughs> There's a woman fish in the river who's losing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> like yo, yo. <laughs> Happy Pride Month. Oh, my God. And they're roommates. Oh, oh my, God, my goodness. <laughs> B-Dog, you are trolling me right now. All right. Diamond Pickaxe coming through. Oh. Doesn't get the same uh, combo uh, extension as the Wooden Axe does, unfortunately. But... Nevertheless, the you know, again nice low 42% on Sir. But on the other hand, being at 12% yourself, I mean the matchup here, you have the Town City platforms rotating around, constantly layout changing up, and you're game losing that stock very quickly. The materials here aren't they're alright. Yeah, you know? Right. They're alright. Right. I can't say they're good, they're not bad. It's just they're kinda mid. Yeah, they get mostly wood. Wooden tools are, what is best for the play styles that like to center around the scrap material, which for D-Dog is more, seems to be more in TNT, but for Syrup is absolutely all of these stray block placements. He is fiending for a, a random block to change the trajectory on his minecart and snatch D-Dog after his spot dodge ended. That's exactly what happened right there, and it turned into a very early stock. That diamond forward air. Oh, nil two oh. into down tilt. I love Syrup. He's so cool. Sure is. Whoa! That's a very smart stall right there. 
That spot dodge, quick. though. That was a good one right there. Up smash is going to seal the deal on that stock. Two to one right now, and some time to get some resources while Syrup is a little light in the oh. pockets. Syrup has nothing. Played the game with oh, no items wow. kept, no inventory kept right, on. Right, like, right, we, yeah. we came back with zero resources, zilch, no nothing. But at the same time, Quano Ding Ling, Quano. D Dog yeah. having everything at his disposal, it means really good. The golden tools are also effective, and you can do the same thing against Syrup. And actually, you can. I lied. He did try to go around, but I mean, Quando having the better positioning for a second there, able to recover and make sure that actually you can't go to the right. You can't go anything there. You die. It's really nice too if you put the blocks basically like one block down. It lets you do a second layer if they try to stall. <laughs> so it really worked out there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just. You're good. No, you're, this is, this so, is it's crazy. so funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, and then and that's how it ends. He got a haircut. It's funny too because Syrup has been in that position. Sorry, in that situation twice yes. in both positions, right. and it always worked out. Yeah. Syrup swinging up at the anvil. Syrup favored. Syrup swinging down from the anvil. Who would have guessed it? Syrup favored. <laughs> he, he's just, he's chosen. Yeah. Plot armor. <laughs> Honestly, yes. I've heard a lot of Syrup plot armor points yeah. today, and it's kind of looking like it. Going into possibly the last game of the night I'm here in saying, Grand Finals. If we get a Xeno Saga prior to 10 p.m., that would be a miracle. That would be... Especially for 110 people. Yeah, right. I'm about to say, because there's like 100 something people that signed up today It'd be as such well. such a shame to perfect it on the last one. Yeah, right? Yeah. right, after like, what, seven years? Right. <laughs> Dude, we're at Xeno Louis Vuitton. What a crazy <laughs> sponsorship. Xeno, I mean, you know, Xeno Las Vegas. Let's oh, go gambling, go. bro. <laughs> I thought of large V, but y'all are more creative than I am. Yeah. Well, listen, third place isn't bad. Yeah. <laughs> Out of three, though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think about it too much. Oh, <laughs> I hit my brain by thinking too much. You're absolutely right. Thank you. We're going to be seeing Syrup. Now on the back foot here for a little bit. Quando taking the taking the reins in this first stock, especially with that back grip. We're not going to be quite enough. The extra blast zones space do help a lot here, but now going a little bit closer to that blast zone, getting that back here. That's a beautiful start for Quando, who's only sub 40 right now, 30% even. Gets a shield up, though. And one thing I do think that's very interesting, too, is when you get hit in a position like that, you get so much extra time after you knock your opponent away to get these extra resources. And it was kind of all the difference, too. Right now, really solid bar that we're seeing from both players actually kind of crafting a similar situation at this point. Gold on deck, not really coming in clutch right now, but Syrup with that extra iron could be a pretty big difference maker. I like that you touched on that though, AG. Like a lot of times, like even when you're down a stock, sometimes the best thing for Steve is just to have you at a high enough percent to where the knockback value is enough to buy you two, three seconds. Because then you get to do you get to do this. Both players, gentlemen, to do it in this case. But for most other matches, you get to say like, "Oh, I back aired you. You're all the way across stage." And okay. You know what? Dip and you die for it. Let's go gambling. Oh dang it. <laughs> oh dang it. Oh dang it. If we, we gamble a little bit too hard here and we still uh, the poker not the, the poker table not quite going in our favor quite yet. Um, but there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I lied. I thought it was you know going down. No, that's what we were talking about because you have time to mine after yeah. not Exactly. Your it was all pre-planned in syrup's head and then suddenly you die. Off the top with a backer. I seen that one here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some, uh, what is it? Some Xeno lower. Yeah, some Xeno. Oh, we were fishing. Fishing for something, but we were fishing a little bit. Nice little parry. Give me now going over to D Dog's favor, but didn't believe too much. Decided back off a little bit and resetting it with the up air. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, this is a rough spot now. Kind of wasting, not wasting, but at least <gasps> expending a lot of iron here in these scramble situations. Oh, there. Really good coverage right there, but. Oh! Oh! oh that's man. some great recognition on the part of D Dog, acknowledging the block was there and knowing that Syrup was a good enough to uh, tech an unbufferable tech. You're the fine. block survived! You're not fine. But Where did he go? What was that? Down. What? <laughs> yeah, he's not fine. That's what the D stands for. Amazing <laughs> we stuff did to it. Syrup. <laughs> A 3 0 <laughs> and a bit of a showcase. That was of like a the whole kit and caboodle. If, you know, if you take that back a couple of generations, he just hit the nastiest arms attack. <laughs> True, yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I didn't even know he could roll like that, being so square and jagged. <laughs> He's never so square. Yeah. I can't believe Steve Maines can play melee in Ultimate. <laughs> Steve and Maine.
That's, that's uh, unfair. That cost, but <laughs> that was serious. He needs it. Great, he needs it. Great so, well played by Syrup, though. I like, can never understate the skill that Syrup has displayed because... Oh dang it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that you said that the yeah. moment he did forward smash. Forward, forward smash. smash. <laughs> oh, the skill. The skill. Look know, at that right? again, guys. Okay. In yeah. slow you know motion. Really? You're talking like all this the nice stuff about how like, uh, talented. The skill. Yeah. Like wow. how talented yeah, no. and skillful and it's like... And then he missed the tag. And then died right? for it, actually. <laughs> the worst <laughs> clip to come up with I wanted to talk about. <laughs> Syrup. Syrup. The next, Syrup is an incredible player. The next player. one will be better. Yeah. Like, Syrup is incredible, yeah, but that's I, not his best moment. <laughs> yeah, that was just that was just incredible timing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this was okay. Seasick, left. That was better. Seasick. Left. All right, let's see the Ams attack. Yeah, this is oh, some this really is, crazy attack. <laughs> teleported. <laughs> One more time. Yeah, that's insane. Wait. By the time anyway. it zooms out. Can you make out, it slower? Yeah. Time, like, to 10? Ludicrous speed. <laughs> go. Make it, like, is this, like, the slowest yeah. we can go? Okay, yeah. I think so. We're going at one tenth. Oh, okay. no. Oh, yeah. By the time it zooms <laughs> out, right, just a little bit. Edo is dodging at the ledge. Bro. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> just go. <laughs> okay, How did he on. get hold there? On. All right. <laughs> That's one frame. Like, yeah. Oh my gone. God! Gone. Where is in the magnifying glass? <laughs> he's, he's, he's over there. there. He's over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So one second. So here and there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, poof. <laughs> now, okay. In one frame. So we made the joke earlier. This is skipping past the death plane in Sonic Adventure. Bro made it through the 70 star door. The other one was like Steve backwards long jumping. Oh my god! Like four frames. This one was just negative. How many A presses was that? Oh, it was. You know, you got to hit twelve per every like second and a half. Oh, okay. Well, not enough. But should have been thirteen. I think. Kingdom Hearts on Switch. A great, <laughs> great match, a great event, and just the joy, I would say. A, a celebration of Vizino, if I've ever yes. been at one. Lovely players, lovely co-commentators throughout the day, and lovely viewers at home. Thank you all so much for supporting the gang here, however you may support them. And uh, you got any parting words for the boys at home, the girls at home? Everyone else? Oh, me first? Oh, I know, buying people at home. Um, yeah. Well, thank you, everyone, for watching the last edition of Xenosaga Final Mix, uh, showing off uh, so many of the players, old and new, here in Tri-State. Um, of course, if you want to continue to support Xeno as it winds down to its final event, make sure to come out for the weeklies, either in person or in the chat like you are now. Happens every single Wednesday. You get to catch all of the action right here at twitch.tv slash house of 3000. All of the bracket updates at start.gg slash Xeno, which is available right this very moment. And all of the Twitter updates by Devin3000 on Twitter. 20 Little Street for only three more weeks so yep. be sure to check it out two more bombs three more xenos the final xeno will be july 3rd and let's get let's talk about bombs go for it guys yep over here at bombs we like Devin just said you have two more to get to for some extra little grind sessions with your homies like we said it's the same place every single not wednesday but monday seven o'clock every single monday there's no pools it's just a straight no bullshit bracket just go in there have fun it's ten dollars in total six dollar venue it's like four dollar entry and again there's only two of them left and if you want some last minute vods every single stream i'm sorry every single match is recorded at every single bombs so you have no excuse to not give your coach a VOD to VOD review, you have no excuse to not have a VOD to do yourself. Same place as always to another street for um, next two weeks. And last but of course not least, the one, the only, New York City's premier production team, House of 3000. First of all, hire them right there, events at house of 3000.nyc and follow them across the internet, all over every single corner, Devin3000 on Twitter. We got a little blue sky action house of 3000 nyc slash blue sky a smidge a smidge twitch.tv slash house of 3000 which you're familiar with but 
pass the word on to someone who maybe not as familiar with. Maybe let them know Does, what they're missing out on. Yeah, I, I, we need to update this graphic, but you can oh. actually follow twittercom slash ho3knyc. Oh, that's true. <gasps> I, uh, yeah, we're yeah. free. New account. In, in, it's in a workaround so, uh, to some degree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yippee. And of Kinda. course, all of those vods that you mentioned earlier Ma, are over at youtubecom slash house of three thousand. And if you want to chat with some of your favorite people. And some other people also. House of 3000.nyc <laughs> slash Discord for Immaculate Vibes and all of the information that you will need to know now and in the future and maybe even a little backlog as well. But can't shout out House enough. Love them. I always thought, you know, I've, I've heard the phrase, uh, what is it like, uh, hmm, your home is where the heart is? Yeah. That's... My home is wherever House is, man. I love House of 3000. I made a crazy trip today to make sure that I made it here for the Xeno Saga, and I will be at the I'm last so glad Zeno that you did. Yeah. As well. Always happy. Love house. All right, but get off the slide. I'll be here all night. Ubel, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. I'm yeah, not getting emotional. Yeah, I haven't cried in like four years. So it's, it's, you know, <laughs> it's, a, it's been a long road for Xeno in this venue, in previous venues. It will continue to be a road traveled by the House of 3000 team. It will just no longer be at Xeno in three more weeks. The final Xeno Saga was a blessing, had so many amazing players. It really was a great time from doubles to the very end of Grand Finals. And I hope to see more people show up for whatever events and whatever ho- the future ends up holding for the House of 3000. But with that, we have to end the stream for tonight. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to Mott for setting up the caster roster, for AG for coming out down from Connecticut, from Devon to putting together this brilliant major level production and moving it everywhere he ends up going. And of course, everyone that's watching, thank you for your support and have a great night.